Good morning, boys and girls. My dog Coco would like to say hi to you this morning. Can you say hi to the friends? Yeah. She loves it when I tell you guys stories. She likes to be right in the middle of it all. So today I'm telling you a story and I wanted you to see the clouds behind me. Um, it is a cloudy, cloudy, windy day today here. And I have the perfect story that I would like to read to you about a little cloud. It's called Little Cloud and it's by Eric Carl. Eric Carl is a wonderful author and illustrator. Um, so take a look at his really neat pictures. He puts his pictures together with pretty paper. So behind each of the pictures is a lot of different designs and beautiful um, paintings. Before we start the book, I wanted to think about some of our words, and I want to see if you can remember. I just brought a few of the words to talk about today. This word, of course, is my favorite, and maybe it's your favorite too. And you know this word. It says sunny. Now, if you take a look at today, take a look around me here. I wonder if you would call this day sunny. I don't think I would call this day so sunny. So let's see if we can have another word. Our next word is wah, windy, windy. It definitely is windy today. Definitely lots and lots of wind. So maybe we could call it a windy day. But this is the day I would like to call it today. I think mostly that today is cloudy. Very, very cloudy. So we're, let's call it cloudy today. So in my weather book, I would write the word cloudy for today, for Wednesday. All right, so I'll put these words aside. Hopefully they don't blow away when I'm reading the story. And I'm ready to read the story to you called Little Cloud. The clouds drifted slowly across the sky. Little Cloud trailed behind. You'll see on this right here, here is Little Cloud. Eric Carle has given him some face, little eyes and nose and mouth. Watch how that changes throughout the book. The clouds pushed upward and away. Little Cloud pushed downward and touched the tops of the trees and houses. The clouds moved out of sight. Little cloud changed into a giant cloud. Little cloud changed into a sheep. Sheep and clouds sometimes look alike. Little cloud changed into an airplane. Little Cloud often saw airplanes flying right through the clouds. Little Cloud changed into a shark. Little Cloud once saw a shark through the waves of the ocean. Little Cloud changed into two trees. Little Cloud liked the way that the trees never moved and they stayed in one place. Little Cloud changed into a rabbit. Little Cloud loved to watch rabbits dash across the meadows. <clears throat> then Little Cloud changed into a hat. Hmm, I wonder why. Because Little Cloud changed into a clown that needed a hat. Boys and girls, can you imagine? Look at this clown picture. That's all made out of a cloud. Isn't that great? That'd be fun to see in the sky and the clouds. The other little clouds drifted back. They huddled close together. Little Cloud! Little Cloud! They called. Come back! Little Cloud drifted toward the clouds. 
kind of like they were his cloud family. Then all the clouds changed into one big cloud and what do you think is happening on this picture? They rained. All right. And that's what happens, boys and girls, when all those clouds get together. And we'll talk about that a little bit tomorrow with the water cycle and how God made that. So enjoy this cloudy day. Maybe you could take a look at all the different clouds that you can see up in the sky. Maybe thinking of all those different things our little cloud turned into. He turned into a rabbit and a shark and a hat and trees. So many things. So boys and girls, enjoy this day, no matter what kind of weather it is. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.